They're getting ready to start uh, with the food. If uh, we uh, still have a contingency of about 11, 10, 10 more 10 people more. coming, but the food's all ready, and so we'll let them join us in progress. And uh, uh, just a couple of announcements. Most of you know the restrooms are right out here uh, available for you. Um, there's other dining out here outside on the picnic tables. This little building we call the Temper House. It's got dining tables in it and kids can go in there or anybody. Um, and then if anybody wants to roast hot dogs, there are some hot dogs and we need to stir up the fire with our roasting pork right outside the door. And uh, so you can do that if you want. I'll, I'll be glad to help get the fire kindled a little bit better. But if uh, I've got just a few little announcements, uh, a review of things, and then we'll ask the blessing here. But um, so, since uh, last year, we have lost uh, one of our members here, Dwayne uh, uh, Larimore, Lenny and Herbert's son, passed away August 24 of 2022. And of course, we've got several that can't be here for various reasons. Uh, Candy Surrett and her mom, Wilma, they are in Peru. Uh, Wilma is coming back uh, in July for uh, an operation procedure. So we expect her to be in the area for a while and uh, maybe able to connect with her at that point. Then uh, another announcement, Teresa uh, Bartley Morrow, the daughter of Vernon and Sylvia, June Carter, she is in the hospital right now uh, awaiting open heart surgery, apparently this coming Monday. A week from yeah, no tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. Okay. No, I mean, or Monday. This Monday coming. this coming Monday. Yeah. So uh, we need to remember her in her prayers. Uh, now, last year Nancy Carol McGee couldn't attend because she was in the hospital with gallbladder or uh, yeah, gallbladder surgery, but uh, she got through that, and uh, so her two daughters and a bunch of grandkids are in route now to join us, and they'll be here hopefully very soon. So. Uh, as of course, uh, as our older generation gets older, it's becoming a little more difficult to travel and attend the reunion, and we understand that due to the health issues, but uh, we appreciate every one of you that have made the efforts and come to join us, and uh, just hope that we can keep this family gathering going as long as possible, and you all have been very faithful, so let's go ahead and ask the blessing, and we can we can get started here. Heavenly Father, we do thank you for the gathering of our family together today. Thank you for the, the bonds of love and friendship that have bound us together all through these years and how you have cared and protected all of us through the many storms and the joys and the triumphs of this life. And you've been faithful and we are grateful to you, Lord. We pray you'll bless our fellowship as we enjoy our food and, and families here today and that you will continue to direct our paths and let us live our lives for your glory and for your honor. And we ask this in the name of our Lord Jesus. Amen. <laughs> It's time again for the family reunion Where we bring a dish and meet down by the stream Time to celebrate our common connection What we are now to what we used to be A family tree as we're the test and trial Part of who I am and hope to be Comes from the heartwood of the tree So I will pass it onward down the line And 
And our family tree is growing through the generations. A family tree is rugged but it's strong. And our family tree is spreading out in all directions. From the roots we are made one. There come a time each way the leaf is falling. So the family tree goes on and on From here below to there beyond May the circle be unbroken by and by And we'll meet the ones from long ago And ones that we have never known Together all united for all time And the family tree is still standing